All right, I'm going to call a meeting to order. First, the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Commissioner Kodish. Dear Lord, next Thursday we will celebrate Veterans Day. We honor our veterans, worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. We pray that you will bless them for their unselfish service and the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for the hardships they faced, for the sacrifices they made for their many different contributions to America's victories over tyranny and oppression. We respect them, we thank them, we honor them, we are proud of them. We pray that you will watch over these special people and bless them with peace and happiness. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, first order of business is a motion to approve the minutes from the October 21st, 2021 meeting. Make a motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Approval of the bill. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We'll start with the accounts payable. Accounts payable total $547,541.52. Payroll account is $489,725.03. 911 account is $1,076.04. CDBG account is $75,068.29. One check in the Act 137 account at for $243.11. Two checks from the LEPC account for $99.13. And the Liquid Fuels Act 89 account is $57.25. Move a motion to pay the bills. A second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Yeah, Treasury report. Our beginning balance was $101,083.50. We had deposits of uh, $323,348.76. We transferred $900,000 uh, from, from Capital Reserve. Uh, we avoided checks for $50. And we transferred uh, from 911 $273.35. We agree with the reading of the bills by the Commissioner Postal, leaving us an ending balance of $287,488.56. Our liquid fuels account has $223,283.26. Our Act 89 has $402,978.36. Our uh, 911 account has $689,739.17. Our LAPC has $31,387.27. Our local use fund has $407,162.37. And our capital reserve has $11,860,730.40. It's all subject to government. Thank you. So motion to accept the trade report. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Meeting events, Mr. Postman. I give my list to the Chief Clerk for the minutes. Thank you. Commissioner Page? I provided my list as well. As will I. Public comment. I'd just like to, Mr. Chairman, welcome Zoe Ray and Tanner Ferguson from MCTV here today. And also, indicate we'd like to thank all of our poll workers and the election staff for their fine work in the election the other night. Uh, we just got numbers a few minutes ago. That just under 9,100 voters took part, which is a 34 percent turnout in the county. Okay, thank you. Any other public comment? New business. We have an addendum number two within Cartel Incorporated to provide and install eight kiosks replacing current video visitation kiosks and provide 80 tablets at the Mifflin County Correctional Facility. Is there a motion to approve? Hello. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Annex project change order number 1 026 with Low Bar Incorporated for deletion of two planners, a decrease of $3,000. Monic? All right, these are two These are two freestanding planners that are going to be in the front of the building, but uh, we really don't need them at this time, so we're asking for a credit back of $3,000. Okay. So 
the motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. We have an offer for a parcel located in Derry Township that is currently in a repository for unsold property. A motion to block <coughs> the amount of $201. A motion to accept or reject that offer. I'll make a motion to accept $201 for this parcel. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have an application for County A, 2021 liquid fuels allocation, Menno Township, $2,933. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have an award notification for Mifflin County Juvenile Probation Services grant for the period July 1, 2021 through June 30th, 2022, the amount of $32,328. Nick? Yes, we received our juvenile grant need. Um, that money is going to be used towards Hillary Worley's salary. Any questions? No. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. We have an application for the adult probation grant in aid grant for the period July 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2022, in the amount of $21,831. Okay. And this is the adult version of the same thing, and this will be used towards. Um, Supervisor Spade's salary. Any questions? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have pre trial diversion grant agreements for clear concepts counseling, inpatient drug and alcohol treatment, not to exceed $10,200. Substance abuse group counseling, not to exceed $1,000. Substance abuse individual therapy, not to exceed $10,400. Substance abuse intensive outpatient therapy not to exceed eleven thousand four hundred dollars. Under greater visions, we have inpatient drug and alcohol not to exceed ten thousand two. Substance abuse counseling not to exceed one thousand. Substance abuse individual therapy not to exceed ten thousand four hundred. Substance abuse intensive outpatient therapy not to exceed eleven thousand four hundred. In single county authority, substance abuse case management not to exceed twenty thousand four hundred seventy-five dollars. Nick. This is uh, just our agreements with our treatment providers through our pre-trial grant that we were awarded. Nick, just a quick question. Yes. Two of these go to June 30th, 2022, and one goes to September 29th, 2022. That's correct? That must be. Um, I would have to check with Lisa to be 100% sure, but they should go to the same period. Okay. All yes. three should go to the exact same period. Well, I'll make a motion to accept these after we clarify yeah. the, the term of the agreements. These two go to June 30th, and the, the other one goes to September 29th. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have a project modification request for the Mifflin County Intermediate Punishment Grant. Changes to the types of materials and supplies, Nick. Yes, um, we had some minor changes with the uh, new building over there. We are taking out the window, a uh, ring doorbell, and a ring subscription because they're going to be provided with the camera system that Bill had explained to me. So we're going to use them now towards one of the monitors that we need to purchase. Um, so we're going to use the grant to do that. Any questions? Motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks. Thank you. We have Mifflin County Code Responders Program. Yeah. Program subgrantees contracts with period October 2021 through September 30th, 2022. Center for Community Resources Mental Health Training, $3,800. Center for Community Resources Malleage and Supplies, $500. Center for Center for Community Resources Care Responders Program, $46,800. Blisstown Police Department Overtime Expenses for Training, $1,800. And Mifflin Geniata Human Services Technical Assistance Management and Conference, $26,203, Allison. Yes, so the other week you signed the Care Responders Grant that we received for PCCD. These are the sub-grantee contracts, and so this is the work that will actually be done under this contract, under this grant. Any questions? Remind us again how long uh, that contract is for? Through next September. Thank you. Motion approved. So move. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. 
We have agreements for janitorial service at the New Vision Center of Listown, PA for the period November 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2022. Historic Courthouse, $451.43 per month. Magisterial District Justice, Jack Miller, $203.90 per month. Mifflin County Library, $534.83 per month. Lonnie? Yeah, these are just for uh, cleaning services for those three buildings for um, we currently, this will put us in line with how we currently uh, do a, a DJ office, Smith, uh, Smith and Reed's office. So um, we're outsourcing these to New Vision. Who was a low bidder? Any questions? In your opinion, Lonnie, that this will save the county money? Yeah, approximately 18000 Thank you. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Case specific public defender services agreement with BMZ Law in Willistown, PA. A motion to approve the agreement. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Public defender services agreement with Robert Ferguson, Esquire, out of Willistown, PA for the period November 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2021, the amount of $3,000 per month. A motion to approve. Make that motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have appointments to the Mifflin County Library Board for three-year terms. Christopher Wagner of Willistown, PA, Angela Sporson Truber of Baytown, PA, and Jessica Nell of Weedsburg, PA. Is there a motion to approve the appointments? Second. Second. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I know the commissioner is on the um, library board, so he made that motion. We have a deed of agriculture conservation easement to a county in perpetuity. Dan, give us a little explanation. Right. I guess I'm supposed to stand up here. Um, good morning, gentlemen. Um, as you may or may not be aware, uh, I'm a recently retired district manager of the Mifflin County <coughs> Conservation District. And uh, when I retired, uh, I agreed to do the uh, continue, continue to administer the Mifflin County Agricultural uh, Land Conservation Program, Ag Land Preservation, we call it, on a contract basis with the, with the uh, Conservation District until uh, I've been doing mentoring with my replacement. And one of these days, he's going to get the whole thing on his lap. But right now, we have an awful lot going on. And if you're not uh, fully aware of what's been going on in the Ag Land Preservation Program for the last 30 years, we have 27 farms preserved, uh, totaling almost 3,000 acres. And these farms are uh, basically, we uh, buy the development rights. We have a competitive application process where the farms are ranked according to farm productivity, which is mostly the productivity of the specific soils on that farm. And then uh, things like development pressure and also uh, what we call clustering, proximity to other farms that are in the ag preservation program or in ag security areas. So this program has been uh, going on since 1993, I believe. And most of our uh, purchases have been with a, what we call a county and state easement, meaning that uh, the county and the state of Pennsylvania uh, hold a conservation easement on the farm. That basically the easement says this farm will stay in farming, you know, in perpetuity, forever, okay? Uh, they can sell the farm, you know, they can uh, deed it to their, uh, you know, the next generation or whatever, but that farm is going to stay in agriculture forever. Um, like I said, of the 27 farms, they're all what we call a state and county easement, and I think there's even five that have federal easements on it that I won't get into, but that's another program. 
<coughs> but back in 2016, uh, we, meaning the uh, Ag Land Preservation Board for the county, which Commissioner Sunderland is a member, we modified our program to allow for uh, donated easements and bargain sales, like $1 bargain sales. Meaning these, uh, you know, anybody that takes advantage of this, they're not getting any money at all, or maybe $1, you know. But um, they're, uh, they're putting a conservation easement on their farm. It means it will stay in farming forever. And um, this is kind of new territory for us. And uh, we had uh, a person, uh, actually a brother and sister who owned this farm. It's the uh, Salt Farm, Fred Salt and Marcia Salt on Loop Road in Granville Township. And uh, they had applied through the regular process several years ago, but because of some of the soils found on that farm, it didn't rank as high. But as I said, the money is not the important thing here. They want to preserve this farm. So uh, we, uh, we, <laughs> we started down that uh, avenue, and um, I found out that it, it will be a county-only easement, meaning the county is the one that holds this conservation easement on the farm. And presumably this is a bargain sale, $1 bargain sale. So um, uh, we were ready to sign the agreement of sale. Normally in a state and county uh, easement, uh, the county is represented by one of the Ag Land Preservation Board members. But this county only easement is different and that it requires a signature of the three commissioners, you three, on this farm. So uh, that's, uh, I'm here to make that request that you would uh, sign this agreement of sale. You have it, Bob? You have it, I guess, huh? Yeah, good, good. Um, one of the reasons we're going down this route is because uh, we, we incur a lot of what we call incidental costs in processing each of these farms. <clears throat> in a typical situation, we might incur ten to eleven thousand dollars. That includes legal fees, survey fees, appraisal fees, you know, uh, title insurance, and so forth. Uh, this particular farm is going to probably be in the neighborhood of thirteen to fifteen thousand in incidental costs. But if we go with the bargain sale route, we can use money that we receive as an allocation uh, from the uh, Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Farmland Preservation. We can use, we can get 100% reimbursed for those uh, incidental costs. So that's why we're going this county only route. Um, Dan, it is possible to have utility right ways. Oh, yeah, 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 they're allowed. They are allowed. In fact, I think there are utility right ways on this. They're listed as exceptions on the, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, things like, um, you know, somebody wants to put gas on, you know, you know, an underground utility. That's perfectly all right. Yeah, but if there's some sort of uh, above ground structure that's going to uh, take up some farmland. It does have to get, you know, special approval for that type of thing. And since we're holding a easement, I guess, yes. uh, we would have to give that approval, or the commissioners would have to give that approval. I guess it's uh, typically through the Ag Land Board. Okay. You know. um, It does, uh, you know, if something were going to happen with uh, uh, eminent domain, okay, uh, ag land condemnation, there is a state ag land condemnation board, that would be a, and any 
uh, situation that would arise under those circumstances has to go before that board. Okay. But that's that's the case even with the uh, the easements that we currently hold. You know. So. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Two motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, gentlemen. We have appointments to the Mifflin County Conservation District. Rebecca Harris, Millward, PA, Farmer Director, four year term. Dave Phillips from Lewistown, PA, Public Member, four year term. Mark Sunderland, Millward, PA, Commissioner Member, one year term. The motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have consideration of compensation rate for the newly formed Mifflin County Municipal Authority Board members. Mr. Chairman, at the beginning of the formation of the Mifflin County Municipal Authority, or MCMA, the primary goal was to create as minimal disruption as possible to the then current Municipal Authority of the Borough of Lewistown, or Maple. MCMA was formed to create or framed to be a change of form instead of substance, with the goal is to keep the status quo as much as possible with all the workings and operations of our local water authority. In light of that, I make a motion to have compensation set for the MCA board that mirrors the prior Mabel board member compensation of $150 per member per monthly meeting, with the chairman and the secretary being paid an additional $50, so $200 per monthly meeting, on account of the additional work those two officer positions entail. Again, this would mirror the prior MABL compensation. I would also, as a part of that, move that the members be entitled to such pay for two prior meetings, and in addition to those moving forward. The meeting held again in September, which is the first orientation meeting to familiarize them with how the MCMA would work moving forward, as well as their first official meeting in October. So Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Personnel. Thank you. First, personnel under registration of Joseph Ciccolini from Sargent at the Correctional Facility effective November 4, 2021. The hiring of Corey Bettish for Children and Youth Caseworker, effective November 8, 2021. The resignation of Franklin Stevens, the fifth from Correctional Officer, effective November 13, 2021. And the retirement of Correctional Facility Lieutenant Joshua Garver, effective November 20, 2021. Is there a motion to approve the personnel aid? Move the motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Mr. Carey, any further business? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I would like to ask Mr. James Conway to come up and give a little brief on the veterans program next Thursday. Yeah, I have some election numbers too if you'd like to look yeah, at I already talked about them a little bit. Oh, okay. That's all right. You, you can read whatever you want. Okay. Um, thank you. Commissioner, thank you. Um, as of right now, we're scheduled to have our Veterans Day program in the Fulton County Old Courthouse at 6 o'clock Thursday, the 11th of February, 2021. Um, guest speaker is going to be the executive officer of the 112th uh, Infantry Division, 2nd Battalion, uh, Army National Guard. Uh, Toby Agno, if I can pronounce the name correctly, is going to be the guest speaker. Um, Memphis County Key Club is going to be providing refreshments for it. And we are going to have uh, Deputy Sheriff Walters, brother, who will meet with today. is going to come down and run sound bar for us and run sounds for music. And the Mifl uh, Milroy uh, Honor Guard is also going to be presenting the colors that night as well. So as of right now, everything is going as planned as we as expected. We're getting everything set up. We're out getting some decorations and stuff this morning to kind of make the old courthouse look patriotic as always. So it's one week from today. Yes, correct, one week from today. So um, everything is on track for that so far. Um, there is an advertisement on radio starting today that's going to say next Thursday um, that it will be open to the public and we highly encourage veterans to come out and see what we can show our appreciation for them. Uh, any further questions on that one? No, good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do you want any information on Oh, you said you covered it. I said a couple. I said what it turned out percentage was. Okay. Total votes cast. Yep. Yep, we're good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Anything further? Thank you.